Hey, what's up guys? It's Chris here and welcome to the table. Today's dish is going to be the shrimp alfredo and these are the ingredients that you will need. We're going to start off by using linguine as our noodle and as you can see it's a very thin noodle. I like it because it can cook quickly but then again you can choose any noodle you like. Next, we're going to use a bit of heavy cream and this is going to be the start of the base for our sauce. I decided to use one pint since we aren't cooking much today. We're using shredded parmesan and this will be the base of flavor for our sauce. I will follow it up by adding mascarpone cheese just to add that smooth texture that we're looking for at the end. Next we have our protein which is our shrimp. I decided to go with the skin on just because I believe it preserves more of the natural flavor of the shrimp. And we're gonna finally dice these shallots and garlic to add to the shrimp. And towards the end I'm just gonna finish up with a dab of butter just to add that smooth finished texture that I'm looking for. We have a beautiful basil here, which smells amazing guys. If you guys were here, you can smell it. That would just be a garnish for this pasta. I will decide to go with the side salad. And as my base, I will use this beautiful spinach I have here. And just to add the color and texture, I wanted to go with the cherry tomatoes that can be easily sliced and tossed with this salad. For some, reason I decided to incorporate jicama which is a Mexican turnip that needs to be peeled and sliced to add more texture. The cheese I will be using for this salad is the crumbled feta which is a bit of the salty side but will add lots of flavor to the salad. For the dressing we will use limes that will add some of that acidity that I'm looking for. All right. These are the ingredients we will need to make the shrimp alfredo. Let's get cooking, guys. Okay, guys, so what we're gonna do is start by uh, peeling and deveining our shrimp. Uh, the ones I bought are already deveined. Uh, we just need to sort of peel them. Uh, so you're gonna grab the shrimp, and as you can see, the skin sort of really is falling out by itself. Uh, so you just wanna have a paring knife ready just in case you'll need it. Uh, so what we're gonna do is just slowly start to peel off the back. And as you can see, no effort needed, guys. Just Peel it off and then pinch the tail and pull the shrimp right off. Like I said, it's fairly easy. Uh, the vein in the back, you want to remove it. Um, do you die or something happens? If you eat it, no. It's just sort of there. Uh, but it's better if you just take it off. Uh, so next, what we're going to do here is just uh, grab our paring knife. And with the paring knife, you want to make a cut through the back of the shrimp. Halfway through. Uh, not all the way through. So what this will do is just uh, open up the shrimp a little more. So when we cook it, it's gonna just open and that will make it easier for it to sit on a plate like so. And you, so you're gonna do this for the rest of your shrimp. Uh, I will do eight for this dish and then uh, do as many as you can for as many dishes that you need. And like I said, it's so easy. Just pinch it off, check the back and open it up like so. So I went ahead guys and I decided to go and uh, chop the shallot. Uh, it's a very easy cut, you just cut it in half and then uh, you peel it and then you just make little thin slices and so and then you go against the slices you just made and that will get you your small small diced shallot as you can see here. And then as for the garlic as we all know it has uh, cloves uh, so what you want to do is grab a couple of the cloves here and then uh, you peel the cloves. As you can see, it's a very easy peel. Uh, some people smash it with a knife, but I just like to have fun with it and peel it by hand. Then you're gonna take it and do some slices. And then again, you just wanna mince the garlic here, as you can see here. And then you're gonna small dice the shallot for the shrimp. And the final prep of the day is the jicama and the cherry tomatoes for the salad. For the jicama, you just take the top off. I did cut it in half in the beginning, as you can see. And then after taking the top off, you sort of just slice out the edges. And so and do it all around the jicama. And then from here, you will get your slices. And then you're 
good to go. As for the cherry tomato, we're gonna do a very simple cut down the middle, and this will just open it up. It'll make it easier to eat, and it's more uh, flavorful like that, more colorful. Uh, so that is the end of the prep. So now we can start cooking. What's up guys? So it's finally time to get cooking. So first of all, I like to put my heat on my pan on a medium high. Uh, you wanna get that pan going so you can get a nice sear sort of color fast enough on your uh, shallots, garlic, and shrimp. Uh, so I added a little bit of oil, olive oil to the pan. Uh, you can use any oil. It doesn't really have to be olive oil, but this is just what I had in hand. So you wanna make sure the whole bottom is covered. That way you avoid any sticking. You don't want any of your food to stick. You want it to be nice and loose. So when you saute it, you know, you're sauteing everything and no part is getting left behind. Uh, so first of all, we're gonna start off by adding the shallots that we diced and then the minced garlic and followed by the shrimp. And again, guys, this is a great step to have everything in front of you that you're gonna use to cook. That way you avoid missing an ingredient or avoid making a mistake. Uh, so next thing you want to do is just make sure that the bottom of the pan is covered nicely uh, that way you cook evenly everything and sort of get it going I like to add a little butter on it uh, just to give it again that creamy that rich richness of the butter so this is it right now then I got some uh, water boiling on the side well uh, <laughs> eventually it's gonna get to rolling boil uh, this is where we're gonna add our pasta so all it is is just water and I like to add a little bit of salt um, that's just uh, I hate boiling pasta and just plain water so add a little bit of salt some people add a little bit of olive oil um, but then again it's your preference you're gonna start creating your own style so we're gonna add the pasta and don't be afraid if all the pasta doesn't go in guys eventually it's gonna get loose and it'll break into it you know what you want to do is keep that form of the linguine uh, so right now we're just gonna wait and get this pan going so it can sear Okay, so, so as you can see guys, our shrimp, shallots, and uh, garlic are kind of slowly starting to get that color we want. Uh, this is the perfect time to season with just salt and pepper guys. Nothing more, nothing less. Uh, I don't want to over season this. Again, it's just a traditional alfredo. We're not done to do anything crazy. Um, and as you can see, I use fresh cracked pepper. Uh, it doesn't matter, but I just like the smell of it and the texture it gives You can use just ground pepper. That's fine And as you can see here on the side, I actually have my heavy cream ready for whenever this sort of gets to the color I want it to and as you can see some of the shrimp is already taking color um, See so you sort of want that reddish pinkish color you know, Again, just be patient with it Flip it here and there don't mess with it too much you just want to slowly get all the flavors introduced, you know. If you have too much of a high heat, then you end up burning the garlic or the shallots or your shrimp gets overdone. So over here on the side, as you can see, our pasta is still not <laughs> boiling, but it's getting there, guys. So again, be patient. The water's going to boil. Eventually, the pasta is going to sink in. Uh, just mess with it a little bit, you know. As you can see, the ends are in the, that are in the water already starting to kind of get softer. So we're gonna go back to our pasta here. So another thing I like to tell people is, you know, just be patient. You know, if you cook too much high heat too fast, you miss a second or two, then the whole dish is done and over with. You know, again, low and slow, especially if you're cooking at home, guys, you know, take your time, you know, smell it, enjoy it, mess with it. So just take it all in, you know, it'll be that much better once you finish it and actually get it to enjoy it. So I think this would be a perfect time to see. So see how the oil is starting to sort of caramelize the shallot, the garlic. And as you can see, it's not burning anything. So this would be a perfect time to actually add our cream. So I'm gonna add half of the pint. So I still have the other half for another meal. Again, I don't want my pasta to be drenched in sauce. I want it to be covered in sauce. Uh, now we're gonna add the parmesan cheese uh, the parmesan cheese you can add as much as you want to personally i don't like my pasta being too cheesy to the point where it's uh, gooey uh, but i just like to taste the the shredded parmesan uh, but then again if you like cheesy you can go right ahead and add more cheese and now as you can see here our pasta we can actually put it all in the pot 
I think I will actually be adding a little bit more pasta. And don't be afraid, guys. Like, at this moment, if you want to add more, add more. Eventually, it's going to cook. So once this pasta gets boiling, it'll cook all together. Uh, so back to our sauce. So now it's been about five minutes, and you can see that our sauce is starting to simmer, kind of a little boiling. Uh, so always try your sauce, guys. Try, try, try. Um, then you can add all the stuff you think it needs. At this moment, I think I'm at the mascarpone cheese. And as you can see, it's a very, very thick cheese. <laughs> it's actually used a lot for desserts, but I like the creaminess it has. So I like to use it for sauces and pastas. Um, and again, you know, I love this, so I'm at a little extra. And then we're just gonna let that sort of melt away in the pan. You know, as you can see, slowly starts to disappear. Sauce tastes great, looks great, and it smells great, guys. I just wish you guys were here to smell everything coming together. So now we're back to our pasta. Now as you can see, the water is now boiling. And I did add a little more, like I said. So now it's just a pastry game. So, you know, it's gonna take about five minutes for this to cook. Um, what you don't wanna see is them still being kind of stiff. You want them to sort of fall off your tongues or off your spatula, whatever you're using. Um, our sauce looks great. I think it's time to turn off the heat. And we're just gonna let, let it sit here and rest up until our pasta is done. And then we can actually throw it in the pasta and mix it all together. And again, try, 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 guys. And at this moment, this pasta is perfect. I'm at the last type of butter I have. And I'm gonna just let that sit there and melt away. And as you can see, I turned off my heat. My, pasta, my sauce is ready. I'm just waiting for my pasta. All right, guys, so our pasta is done. So now I just got them draining. Now we're gonna add the pasta. And as you can see, it's very nice and loose. No stiff parts. That means that's a good sign that it's done. So all I'm gonna do here next is just really mix the sauce in, you know. I'm gonna grab every piece, just toss it in there. Don't get too crazy, you know, be gentle. And then uh, for plating purposes, I will separate all the shrimp from the actual pasta. So like I said, I use a shrimp, so I'm about looking for a shrimp. And then again, we're separating it because we're gonna use it as presentation in our plate when we go to plate it up. Like I said, look at that nice creamy pasta. My God, looks so good. So now we're gonna move on to the plate. And here it is guys, our shrimp alfredo. Like I said, I added the spinach salad with jicama, feta cheese, cherry tomatoes, and I cracked some fresh black pepper on top. And there's our pasta. Nice linguine with a cream sauce. Topping it off with the basil. Looks amazing guys. So that was it guys. Make sure you like, subscribe, and share this video. And check out this final product, what a beauty. Just the jicama, the spinach, the tomatoes. And look at that beautiful alfredo sauce with the shrimp. The basil, if you can smell it right now, it's just an amazing smell, guys. So I'll let you guys do it and I will enjoy this pasta as much as I can.